what, a 60, 70 yards out right there. I've been absolutely loving the performance of the 45 caliber air rifle lately. We've had so much fun with it, and the fact that it has enough penetration to take down a Grey Wolf at out to 150 yards with a single long hit is pretty incredible to me. So today I want to try it out on the Coyote. But before we do that, I definitely want to say one thing, and that is if you ordered merch on, I think it was Friday when I first uh, put the site up, um, I'm going to be delivering that today, so you'll definitely get it this week sometime. But uh, this is what the merch looks like. I'm actually wearing it right now. A lot of people ask me, why do I always cut the V-necks out of my shirts? And that's because I have really wide shoulders and it kind of constricts my neck. So I basically like to have more movement. That way it's not itching and kind of bothering me. But anyways, with that, let's head out and try and find some coyotes. Well, guys, we just got eyes on our first coyote. It's a really nice male. He's about 150 yards out coming right in here. The problem is we're in some really, really tall grass here. So if we let him get too close, we're not really going to be able to take. Hold on. Did he stop right there? He did. All right. This changes everything. Now we're going to be able to try and sneak up on him. Okay. So he's about 100 yards right there, actually. Could go for a front on shot. All right, here we go. He's down! Perfect shot! I think we just heart shot him. I think we just heart shot him at about 100 yards out with a 45 caliber air rifle. Man, what a heck of a way to start off this hunt. A beautiful, huge coyote down. And there he lays right there. Man, you can see how hard it is to find these things. They blend in so well, and they're kind of small. But yeah, here he lays right here. Our first coyote down with the air rifle. Let's take a whole picture of him. And let's pick him up. See how we did. Actually ended up getting a right lung shot at 114 yards and a 51 score in gold. Coyote right there. Heck yes. So we're actually going directly for the heart, but I just don't think it quite made it there. Honestly, if maybe if we were an inch to the right, we might have hit it. But either way, a pretty awesome shot. 114 yards and a really nice male coyote down right there. So real quick before we go to the next spot here, I'll show you where we are right now. We're at the Belmont Outpost right here, the Belmont Railroad Outpost. And I was actually looping around to go to this spot here. This spot's usually loaded with coyotes. And I heard a coyote call right behind us. We were right about here. I looked back and we spotted him right here. He was resting right here from uh, 7.30 until 11 in the morning. I really wish you could use the air rifle on the ducks, but uh, either way, I do want to try for a 150 yard shot and see kind of where the pellet actually drops. Okay, so that mill dot is exactly 150 yards. Dang, this thing's accurate. So ended up getting a little bit high. That was only 130 yards. Okay, we just got a call from another coyote here. He's about 50 yards in front of us. We're gonna try and sneak over to this tree here. And he actually might come right past about 50 yards or less. Oh, he should be somewhere. Oh, I see him. I see him. Here he comes. Here he comes. Look at Here he comes right there. It's about 60, 70 yards out right there. He's definitely in range. All right, guys. Here he comes. He's about 50 yards out. He's super, super close. You can see how you can't really see him very good in the grass because, look, he's completely disappeared now. It's going to be pretty close. All right, there he is. Oh, my God. Look how close he is. He's 30 yards away. Is there room for 27? He's down. That's going to be another gold. A 50.5 scoring gold coyote. Wow, I didn't know you could get a double lung shot. That's a double lung shot. He was 15 yards away, and we double lunged him with a 45 caliber air rifle. I really didn't know you could get double lung with the hollow points, but apparently you can. And that's a pretty solid coyote. 50.5. And our second one down with the air rifle. Not bad. He actually has kind of a cool looking color. Like the kind of reddish orange color. I like that color actually. So 
So here's where we got the second coyote. We're a little bit to the west side of where we just got that first coyote. The big seven was right here. We're over here where I wanted to go, where I thought there'd be a bunch of coyotes, and he was actually right here somewhere. I don't actually have a zone though, so I really don't know if he was kind of resting up in here somewhere. There must be a zone here somewhere, but man, he's way out there. How the heck did he get out that far? See, that's the thing with coyotes. If you don't look for one second, they're halfway across the map by the time you actually know where they're at. And that sucker's 200 plus yards out there. Okay, there he is. He's 170 yards out. It's a little bit far, but he might actually come back. Yeah, let's go bro. Let's go bro. We might be able to get him at like 150 here. We got to head into him, but I don't know how far he actually was. Oh, he was way too far. Way, way too far. Yeah, we definitely hit a little too low. Let's pick him up and see how low we actually did hit. Holy, that was way low. Ended up with a 169 yard, looks like front leg shot with the air rifle there. Not too impressive at all, but at least we know um, one single shot, even a flesh hit, will take down a coyote at uh, pretty much any range. One thing that's super important when you're coyote hunting is make sure that you have a good wind. Make sure that the wind is blowing directly in your face because if not, you might as well be chasing your tail around. This next spot is really good for coyotes as well as whitetail. We took down a couple of diamond whitetail here and I'll show you this spot here as we're sitting here waiting. It is kind of in the middle of Mount Kraken and Layton Lowe's. Right here, I have a tent set up right here and there's a little crossing right here. We took a couple of diamond whitetail down out of here, but right now, all the whitetail and all the coyote are here. Well, the whitetail are drinking and the coyote are sleeping, basically. Well, once the coyote are done sleeping, and they're gonna come back across this crossing here, and they're gonna come over here and try and feed on some rabbits. And when that happens, they should cut across right in front of us. All right, guys, here they come. We got a coyote coming in right there. It's probably gonna be the male, that's the male. Ooh, an even bigger male. We got two males coming in here. We might be able to double up. We got two male coyotes coming in here. Gonna be about 50 yards here any second now. Let's get ready. Reserved in for 50. It's a female coming in too, but it's gonna be kind of difficult. We're gonna have to take this one down first and then get on that one second. First shot was bad, 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 bad. But I think we connected. Oh, we hit him! Holy coyotes! I can't even see. We gotta get. The heck was that? Was that a bear? Reload, reload, reload! Looks like we definitely got two of them. This one lays right on top of the bridge here. There we go. That's what I'm talking about right there. That looks absolutely amazing. And it finally stopped raining. Cool. Let's pick him up and see how we did. That's going to be a 44.8, and we got a nice walking left lung shot at 35. Another coyote. Another coyote. Oh, that's definitely not a coyote. Why the heck did I think that was a coyote? It kind of sounds like it, doesn't it? Well, I guess we're going to go for an air rifle shot on a black bear here and see how well it does. This is not a very good idea, but we'll see what happens here. No! We just hard shot him at 27 yards away with the air rifle and he just crumbled. Let's find out if we hit the hard or not. I'm pretty sure we might have because it's piled up right here. And that's a hard shot. 31 yard walking perfect hard shot with the air rifle. Looks like we got some attention from another bear around, but 14.5 female. I never would have thought that could happen. Dropped a 200 pound black bear right on the spot with the air rifle not bad i thought it'd be really cool if we could take down one more nice coyote and we just found an entire pack of them here got a female there and we got a really nice six hard male right there he's only about 50 yards out from us i think there actually might be another male in there too but for now i think i'm gonna take this one down at about 56 yards out try and slide over a little bit more maybe like right there should be good all right, let's make this happen. Yeah, 
He's down. Where's the rest of them? There they go. Another one back there. Let's get on this one. Well, first shot went right over the top of her, but the second one definitely connected, and she piled up right there. And I don't know how that first shot was like so far off, but luckily we compensated for the second shot and we connected. This is our chance. We got him. We got him. We got two of them. All right, there he lays right there. Let's go take a look. This should be our level six. He was a pretty nice one as well, and he's gonna be a silver. Ended up getting a spinal cord left lung shot at 58 yards out. The fact that we got a spinal cord shot is not bad though. That's decent penetration. And a 47.8 coyote just didn't quite make gold. Well, here lays the other coyote. I honestly don't know if it was a female or a male, but we're gonna find out here in one second. And let's pick it up. It was actually a male, ended up with a perfect left lung shot at 104 yards out, a 45.6 male coyote right there. So the first shot, we actually hit like way over here, and the second shot, we smoked him. And let's pick him up. That's gonna be a 51 golden. Talk about an amazing shot. Running double lung heart shot, 15 yards away with the air rifle. Man, awesome shot, and a huge coyote to finish off this hunt right here i don't think we're gonna go after that piebald because it was only a female and i do have a male piebald already but man what a heck of a shot there a running 15 yard double lung heart shot with the 45 caliber air rifle and what an awesome way to finish off this hunt but yeah that's gonna be it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time